My position is in line with Roe v. Wade, uh, that women have a constitutional right to make these most intimate and personal and difficult decisions based on their conscience, their faith, their family, their doctor, uh, and that it is uh, something that uh, really goes to the core of privacy. And I want to maintain uh, that uh, constitutional protection. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I hate to do this to you. This will be two gimme fives in a row with Hillary talking abortion. But this is so egregious. This, this has to be out there. Uh, welcome to Gimme Five. Uh, you know, this, this right of choice, and it should be up to the woman, and a choice and discretion to kill your unborn baby. Okay? She doesn't want any interference from the government from a woman's right to kill her unborn baby. Here's more. Under Roe v. Wade, as you know, uh, there uh, is room for uh, reasonable uh, kinds of restrictions after a certain point in time. Uh, I think uh, the life, the, the health uh, of the mother are clear, uh, and those should be included uh, even as one moves uh, on in uh, pregnancy. The life and the health of the mother. See, once you include the health of the mother, that is broadly defined to mean I have a stomach ache, I need to terminate the pregnancy. I get headaches, I need to terminate the pregnancy. Life is one thing, which is so rare, just speak to doctors, it almost never happens that by killing your baby before you deliver it, you're going to save the woman's life, okay? Uh, and health is just, it means any circumstance. Now get this. Well, under our laws currently, uh, that is not something that uh, exists. Uh, the, uh, the, the unborn uh, person uh, doesn't have constitutional rights. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't do everything we possibly can uh, in the vast majority of uh, instances to, you know, help a mother who is carrying a child uh, and wants to make sure that child will be healthy, to have appropriate medical support. It doesn't mean that uh, you don't uh, do everything possible to try to uh, fulfill your obligations, but it, it does not include uh, sacrificing the woman's right to make decisions. Oh, man, if I was alone right now or with friends, I would say what I want to say. So this, this mother and grandmother sits there and says the unborn has no constitutional right. Oh, we want to make sure it's born healthy. Unless we want to kill it, then it's all right. We want to make sure the woman gets all the proper treatment and care to deliver a healthy baby. Unless she wants to kill it first, then it's her right. This is sick. Run on this, Hillary. Please run on this, because poll after poll after poll shows this is not where America is. As we now see sonograms in the first trimester with hands and fingers and faces and smiles, and she wants to kill it, or wants to have the mother have the right to kill it. This is sick, sick, twisted stuff in this day and age. Why do we have to progress on everything? But when it comes to this, we have to stay just the way it was. Just the way it was. Sick stuff. Now, let's skip ahead to the last cut, 89. Uh, she was asked by Chuck Todd about her FBI investigation. Has the FBI reached out to you yet for an interview? No, no, they haven't. But, uh, you know, back in August, um, we made clear that I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody might have, and uh, I stand by that. Are you concerned that this isn't going to wrap up before the convention? No, I'm not, because I don't think anything inappropriate was done. Yeah, okay. Run on that one to the FBI as well. Hey, back to abortion. I got news for you. If you don't want to risk having a baby, then don't have sex. You could take birth control, and sometimes it fails, because it's not 100%. So if you don't want to risk having a baby, don't have sex. If you have sex and you get pregnant, have that baby. Do not kill it. And one day the court will make sure that happens.